Hi, I'm Congressman Kevin Brady. I want to clear the air on free trade and the alphabet soup of acronyms that have been filling the airwaves over the last few weeks. This past week, most Republicans and some Democrats in the U.S. House voted in favor of TPA, or Trade Promotion Authority, which helps Congress set the rules for America's future trade deals. Why? Well, the question's simple. Should Washington decide what you can buy or sell, or should you, the consumer, the local business, hold that power? I say the power belongs with you. The economic freedom to buy, sell, and compete around the world with as little government interference as possible is one of the great economic rights of Americans. It's a pillar of pro-growth nations, and here in America, no state is more successful at free trade than Texas. From chemicals to computers, energy equipment to agriculture, our businesses sell more than $325 billion in goods around the world each and every year. But more importantly, this free trade touches 3 million hardworking Texans and thousands of our local businesses providing jobs that pay more and are better suited to survive in tough economic times. Driven by the fair and open regulations, the trade rules of Trade Promotion Authority, in the future, trade agreements will also give American families and consumers more choices and better prices for the products they buy every day. That stretches your paycheck exactly where it's needed. Unfortunately, some people believe Washington, special interests, and union bosses should decide what you can buy and at what price. But I want to put that power in your hands. So given a choice between more economic freedom for Americans or less, I always choose more. That's what makes America great. And that's why I voted to make sure that Congress and not this president or any future president sets the rules for American trade. This isn't simply a good thing for our country. It's a great thing. And with regards to future trade agreements, many of you have called in or sent letters talking to me back home regarding TPP or the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This is a proposed trade agreement with 12 Asia-Pacific nations. I'm actually really excited about the opportunity this represents for Texas and for America. Nearly half the world's middle class customers live in that region, which represents billions of dollars in untapped revenue and new customers for our local Texas businesses. Though the government is still in negotiations and they are months away from concluding a proposed agreement. And according to the new bill we are passing, TPA, before anything can be signed into law by the president, it must be made public for two months. That's two months for you and I to read this agreement and decide, is this right for America? Look, Texas is built for trade. So is America. It's time through expanded trade to preserve the economic principles that have enabled our country to grow and thrive and make us the world's economic leader. And we need to stay the world's economic leader. So thank you and God bless the United States of America.